Ron Bellamy with several interesting comments. I'll kind of run through a few bullet points uh, of what he talked about, but one that, you know, I feel like Roman Wilson, you know, gets some decent PR on this podcast. I think, you know, he should be paying us some sort of royalty or something, but uh, he, he says that he's challenging Roman Wilson to be one of the most dynamic playmakers in the entire country. Uh, he talked about Cornelius Johnson, you know, how much a, a leader that he has been uh, and how he's really been a leader since Ron Bellamy got here before 2021. He's just been that steady guy. Speaking of steady guys, Peyton O'Leary called him steady. Eddie uh, said, you know, he would have had a slew of offers if he didn't have his 2020 season in high school canceled. So that one kind of worked out in Michigan's favor. Now on scholarship, Tyler Morris wearing number eight uh, and just reminds them of Ronnie Bell. He said he turned to Jim Harbaugh several times this spring uh, after Tyler Morris would make a play and they would say Ronnie Bell, uh, even though he said he's his own man, but uh, they, they're really encouraged by what Tyler Morris has shown. He said Darius Clemens uh, had a really great spring, and I, I want to talk a little bit more about Darius Clemens in a second, but I think uh, he could be he could really determine maybe a higher ceiling for this wide receiver room. But you, you have some other guys, some young guys that, that have turned some heads early on. I don't know how much those guys are going to contribute right away, um, but what do you make of, of this wide receiver room? And maybe are we underrating it? Could, you know, could Roman Wilson step up? Corn could Cornelius Johnson – take another step in his development, um, you know, or are we discounting the fact that Peyton O'Leary could be a factor and that this wide receiver room might be a, a little bit better than, than we've thought. I know they don't have that first round type of guy in there, but uh, could they piece this together pretty well? I think they can piece it together a and people need to understand too, when we rank these position groups and, and, you know, on the flip side, it, it's the conversation we've had about the cornerbacks all year where you just wonder, you know, someone has to be ranked. If you're going to rank something, this is why Jim Harbaugh doesn't like to rank things because it feels like someone else gets disrespected. But when you rank something, someone has to be last. Someone has to come in uh, at the end of the list. And on offense, to me, it is uh, it is those wide receivers because and, and it depends, too. I mean, you can their numbers are going to inherently get better guys like Roman Wilson, Cornelius Johnson, because they're the top two guys in the depth chart. And I don't really see that changing either. I know there's still this, uh, I won't call it a fantasy, but a pipe dream, uh, maybe even that Darius Clemens is, you know, he'll bust out in a big way and be, you know, the number one wide receiver that, <clears throat> excuse me, that Michigan hasn't had since, you know, Braylon Edwards or insert, you know, insert legendary wide receiver here. I think it's still probably another year or so away with him. Uh, you know, he came to college looking the part, but it's gonna, it, it just takes time, especially when your, your playing time at this school depends on your willingness and your competitiveness when it comes to blocking. So uh, to me, yeah, they can absolutely piece it together and guys are going to take steps forward and player development is, is going to, you know, make a difference. And JJ McCarthy being as talented as he is, is going to make a difference, but um, it's just a lot of, uh, there's a lot of unknowns there and it's not a concern. You know, you, you we sift through things on the roster. Like the, a concern is, you know, what happens if an injury happens at quarterback or what happens if Will Johnson comes back and isn't quite the same after his off season surgery. Like those are concerns. I just have question marks at wide receiver. Um, Tyler Morris, I think is a guy that, uh, no, they're different players, but in terms of someone who can be reliable and, and just does not, you know, just comes up big when you need him to, I think he can kind of step in in time and be what Ronnie Bell was. But in the here and now, I mean, really what you're just looking for with this group is consistency. You know, I need Cordelius Johnson to have his four or five catches a week instead of one catch for a couple games in a row. Then he has four catches for 160 yards and two touchdowns against Ohio State, which I mean, if that's what the scenario is, then yeah, I guess you take that. But um, I just need you need all of these guys to be consistent. And something that I think was kind of a concern for me with them last year is that, uh, especially on the deep balls. I mean, some of that was JJ McCarthy. A lot of it too was the fact that guys just didn't make plays. These guys just have to make plays, and you're not asking them to be something they're not. It's just a matter of the focus and and coming up when your opportunity. Uh, presents itself to you so we'll see uh it's by far the group with the most question marks on offense but i think that they can be fine here i really do i agree uh and i think and, and you you brought up a point earlier 
that makes me you know pretty confident in what this receiving core can be is that it's not just a, a receiving core or a wide receiving core that you know is is above average or decent or has a, a few good pieces it's one that's also surrounded by a, a good group of tight ends as we talked about a good good group of running backs uh especially donovan edwards who can catch the ball and then also you know has a really good quarterback and has a really good run game too so that's going to open things up for them and maybe they can you know perform a little bit better than they would on another team which is all you can ask um deep ball is something i wanted to bring up if you look at um uh, Passes at 20 plus yards. This is going off of pro football focus, but Cornelius Johnson caught four of those last year. One of them uh, pretty famous in, in the Ohio State game. Roman Wilson with two, Colston Loveland with two, Donovan Edwards with three. That's not many, you know, so the receivers do have to get open. Ron Bellamy talked about that, though, uh, in, in the deep balls, and he just said it's just repetitions, repetition, building that chemistry. And it's something that's huge, something we've talked about throughout the offseason, but JJ's healthy. And JJ's your starting quarterback. You couldn't say either of those things last year at this time. So I think that's going to help their chemistry as they go into fall camp. They're just building that momentum uh, and building off what they did. On Darius Clemens, um, you know, I, I think I, I'm still waiting to see what he's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be a really big fall camp for him. You know, Ron Bellamy said he had a good spring. You didn't necessarily hear a, a ton of buzz about him at that time, but he's got so much potential, and we did see it in the spring game last year, actually, with with his you know diving catch for a touchdown uh, and kind of showing that oh, there is a next level here to this guy. There is that extra gear. If you can unlock that, and maybe it's midseason, you know, it's maybe doesn't doesn't have to be right at the beginning of the year. But I think if he raises his game and becomes a, a guy that you can rely on out there, then I think this wide receiver room is going to be pretty darn good because I like Tyler Morris in the slot. I like Roman Wilson a lot as people know. And I like Cornelius Johnson as kind of a steady guy on the outside too. So all eyes for me are on Darius Clemens in fall camp. I'm excited to hear about uh, how he does, how he's been doing this summer. Um, because I think, you know, he knows there's a lot riding on, on this off season for him and, and there are spots and snaps to be had. Um, I, I will say this last thought on the wide receivers. Michigan was aggressive at a lot of different positions in the transfer portal. They knew they needed a tight end. They knew they needed an offensive lineman or two. They actually probably got more than they even needed there, a little bit of overkill. They knew they needed some linebacker depth. They knew they needed a corner. Uh, they got all those guys. We didn't hear much at all about wide receiver other than them being one of about 60 schools to reach out to Keon Coleman, which why would you not? Um so maybe that speaks, you know, maybe they, they just didn't have an in with some of these guys and maybe there were some quiet conversations behind the scenes there. But I think that speaks uh, to Michigan being confident in what they have at wide receiver. Ron Bellamy said uh, he really likes this group and obviously I wouldn't expect him to say anything less. Um, but, but I think that could bode well, uh, you know, too, for this group, just, just the fact that, that the coaches didn't feel a need to go out there and get somebody. Uh, any, any other thoughts on this uh, wide receiving core, A.B.? Just that there's there's talent here. I mean, it's not like they're bereft of of wide receiver talent. I mean, Roman Wilson, a guy that we saw score what three touchdowns on his first four touches of the year last year. That's something that that's that's a Michigan. Like, how do you get that guy more involved and more consistent? That's a Michigan problem. Like, you need to find ways to get that type of explosiveness as many touches in you as you can. Uh, Cornelius Johnson, I think, is going to be a solid number two. Tyler Morris. Uh, and Darius Clemens, I think, will have their opportunities, and, and we'll see where it goes from there. So, uh, there's talent here, though. I mean, there's it's time to it's time to develop some of these guys, and that's 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 been a, a question mark of mine, even going back to you know when Josh Gaddis was coaching the wide receivers, is that um, they've had a lot of you know that 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 wide receiver class they brought in in 2017 was about as talented as it gets, and. You know the this the the parts just never added up to what the sum should have been, and I'm not saying that the guys on the roster they have now are that, but uh, you know it's they are so overdue for someone to pop and just kind of be a a go to option, and and I'm excited to see if this group has the goods for that. Last last thing on them, top two wide receivers on a Big Ten championship winning team in 2021 were Cornelius Johnson and Roman Wilson, so they could be that. Once again, with better quarterback play, probably a better run game uh, than even, you know, with Hassan Haskins and Blake Corum that season. So uh, we shall see. And, and some young guys that are emerging as well that we talked about. 